Alrighty. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I am back with a voice tutorial. I know I've been sick for a while and you probably can still hear it. And I apologize for the sickness sounding in my voice and I might cough, I don't know. Um, but yes guys, just bear with me. So I thought today, if you all have seen the most recent movie out in theaters right now is Pixar's Finding Dory, which is the sequel to Finding Nemo. So what's going to happen is I went and saw it and I thought let's go ahead and draw baby Dory. Now she's fairly simple because she's just made up of a bunch of circles. So we're going to start with one big circle. But as I'm making my circle, I'm making this big part right here at the end really wide and then skinny at the end. Next what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw one circle right here. So one big round circle and then we have this part right here where we're going to leave it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and curve inward right here and then I'm going to jump out here and I'm going to make that other circle, round it down and back into here. that we're done with this eye, what I would like to do is I'd like to come back to her nose ridge, curve around, and down and back into the overall part of her body. But when we jump over to this eye right here, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and cut off the bottom of that eye and give her that little distinct eyelid. And the eyelid is poking out just because she has really big eyes. So we have this big eyelid right over here. So we're gonna jump over here and do the exact same thing where we're going to chop off the bottom of the eye and give her that eyelid. And you wanna make sure that both sides are almost the same so they start like at the same spot. So as you can see, they're directly across from each other. So we're trying to make those things quite um, even. So we have this nose ridge right here. And what you're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead up at this part, you're just gonna bring this back by making a little hill. And then from right here on top of her eye, you're gonna make a little indication of her eyelash line right there, like her eyelid eye, eyelash line. So we have her bottom eyelids and then we have a little bit of her top eyelids up here. And this is like her eyebrow. So we make her the hill for her eyebrow, bring this back and back into her body. All right, let's go ahead and fill in her eyes. Now for this eye over here, we're gonna go ahead and start like this. So we make this circle, it takes up the entirety of the top of her eye. So we have this part right here, and then this part. So we'll get rid of this guideline right here. So then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump inside and give her that shine to her eye and it's all like building off of her nose ridge, like horizon wise. And then I'm gonna start making the pupil, the black of her eye, round it up and around like this. So we still wanna be able to see the purple of her eye. And it is gonna be really wide right at the bottom here. So this is the purple of her eye and this is the black of her eye. So if I go ahead and fill this in, so we're going to start over in this eye over here and we're just going to round this around and go right up into the eye. Okay. After this one right here, you see how it's leaving just a little bit of white space on the white of her eye and in between from her eyelid. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna come right back, back from here. Go ahead, 
Make sure it's nice and rounded on top. Bring this around. And you're gonna bring back the white, the little shine in her eye all the way over here. But you wanna make sure that the purple irises of her eye are almost like they're just like they're pointy cornered. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's color this in. All right, next what you wanna do is you're gonna jump on top of her eye and give her that dark eyelash line. Right on top, lining the top like she has eyeliner on. Same for over here. Just wanna go ahead and give her that dark line over here like the indication that she has that dark eyelash line. Then for her eyelid, I'm gonna round out her, the bottom of her eye just a little bit more. Now she, she does have an eyelid and the only way that you're going to make this really pop for the eyelid is if you color it in so it's a bunch of shading. So if I were to go underneath and where I just marked off this area and shaded in right underneath the eyelid. Same for over here. Not dark eyes, it's just a shading. Shading underneath the eyelid just a bit like the different colors of blues. We start from right up here to get you in, like to show you what I mean by shading. We're just gonna bring this back right here. So we have this little weird triangle from behind her eyebrow line. And then we're gonna jump over here, right on top. And we're gonna match up with this corner. And we're gonna go back. So we have a little hill here. Go inward just a bit and then bring it down and curve and then back into her body. So we're going to make this nice and fluid, a nice fluid line. So this part and this part, this is all dark and everything. So I'm going to jump back here, right in here and make a little spot. That's her little blue spot in the middle of all the black of her marking. Now I'll jump back here, right up here, and go ahead and bring this down and tuck it right back here. So it's her top fin. Then what I want you to do is we're gonna go ahead and come down here from this spot. You're just bring it all the way right here, and you're gonna start a little, a little, her little fin right here. And basically from the width of this circle, you're going to bring this down, go outward, and then in and back, like this. Get rid of that little circle. Then we have her little itty bitty fin. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and close this off right here. And you're going to jump down here. So this part, once we mark off this bottom, this part is the black part of her fin. And this is blue, and then right down here is her yellow part. Now, from behind her fin, we're going to go down and back in. So we have the bottom part of her fin of her body. We're actually going to go all the way to the black spot. The black marking of her body. Right? And then, of course, for each of these fins, you can divide them up. And then let's jump over back here to her, well, of course we need to give her her mouth. Now her mouth is simple. So what you're gonna do from the curve right here, you're just gonna kind of curve inward. 
from right underneath her eyelid. We're gonna spring that inward. And you're just gonna kind of curve this off to the side, giving a little bit of a smile. And then you're gonna jump back over here. Underneath, right, you see where I made, uh, like we're gonna leave this part right here, but right underneath this little part of her, the indication of her nose, you're just gonna bring it in just a little inward and fill that in. And then of course we're gonna jump back here to the part underneath her fin. We're gonna gonna go out and up. Right, and then we're gonna jump down to this part from the black part of here. And bring that, we're just gonna go like angle, go down. And you're gonna connect the two together. So you connect the two together. Nice fluid lines. And then from back here, you're gonna bring the black spot all the way to the end back here. And of course, there's like a black tail, like a black marking coming up from the, her, the back here. So this is black and then the bottom is black. But this is all black if we were to fill it in. So this back here is yellow. Bottom here is yellow. This is blue, 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 blue. Now for a little bit more shading, like I was talking to you about, about her eyebrow, what we would do is we would shade up here. to give that indication of an eyebrow almost. Like her eyebrows are lifted and then the same would be over here. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, just to give you a little, a little look at it, here is the Dory eye colored in. Zoom out. So you can see it, here's the Dory eye colored in and everything and as you can see I used like the shading and everything underneath her eyelids, underneath her stomach and it even shaded in between like her tail area and between her, her body and everything just to give that indication that her body is slightly turned to the side and everything. But I like the full tail effect so you see where the yellow is and where the blue is. And of course she's all black but I use like different colors instead of using just black. So I use like a darker blue. Don't follow my example if you don't like the color choices I make but this is black, black, uh, yeah all of it's black and then even like the ridges of her tail of her fins are black and everything. But yeah guys it's just a, it's a color choice so I just made it this way. But yeah guys I hope you really enjoyed that. Uh, yes guys if you've already seen the movie make sure you don't spoil it for anyone. It's never fun to give spoilers away but yes go see it because the short is adorable and the whole movie is adorable and Hank's my favorite character. Let me know if you guys want to draw Hank for next week's tutorial. I know we're going to have to go ahead and get into the secret life of Plet pretty soon and I'm really excited to see that as well but yeah guys I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all later bye